Welcome to Amsterdam. We're on the way to Sony. Of course, the weather is sunny and 30 degrees as uh, usually in Amsterdam. So the first thing we did was take out all the walls in between. This is where the musical heart of Amsterdam is sticking. That's this place and we're a part of that. The more free you are to move around, the more creative you get. Workspaces and People Season 2 here on YouTube. A little disco tour. Okay, what the f***? No, we had Sony Music. Um, first, first day of our Amsterdam series, we actually just arrived. Uh, we lost my bag in the plane, but we got it back, so I uh, have a whole lot of good karma load here. Um, the funny thing is that Christoph just recorded a podcast with uh, Sony in Berlin, and I went on Instagram and I, I was um, researching for the trip here, and basically I just researched hashtag um, offices Amsterdam and I saw pictures and I go through the pictures and then I look which one do I like, like do I like the setting, do I like the colors, do I like what's going on in the picture, whatever. And I, yeah, you can't get around these pictures of this office because it looks so as you can see everything is like super green, super modern. Um, yeah, so it, it triggered me immediately and uh, I asked Sony Berlin if they could make an introduction to Sony Amsterdam. So here we are and we're very excited to see the space. Hi. Hi. Hello. Katinka. Hi. Um, I would love to because the space is really, um, we've seen a lot and it's really uh -huh. unique. So um, yeah. for us, um, I don't know how you feel, feel about it. We still here. feel it's very unique. Yeah. Uh, so we would love to see as yeah. much as possible. Yeah. Maybe also, you know, I like the things to be authentic, like also what could have been better or what went, you know, what well, was the worst progress. part it's of it. It's still in progress. Yeah. So, and that's the, the key is actually that we, we got in here like two years ago mm -hmm. and we have been remodeling, redesigning on the go mm -hmm. because we had an amazing uh, concept mm -hmm. that was very abstract or mm -hmm. theoretical mm -hmm. that looked amazing when we got in, mm -hmm. but it was not rock and roll, <laughs> it was not Sony music. Mm -hmm. So we had to, to mold it into something that feels very unique and very authentic to us. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that, that's, that's what we're still doing. Who's we? Uh, it's me and the management team, so to say. But basically the people, I mean, I talk about the office with everybody in this, com in this office yeah. quite often about what works, what doesn't work. Uh, it was very different when we got in here and what it is today. Okay. Um, so like what in particular, for example? So for example, we had, a lot of, we had a lot of spaces where you could just sit together and brainstorm or talk or have a have a creative breakout yeah, yeah. the thing is we have too many okay. so it looks amazing like yeah we have like a lot of spots where people can just spontaneously get together and stuff yeah. um but that all that, that that didn't always work yeah um in the beginning i had a, so the whole creative department so the a r managers those are the people that sign artists and develop artists and work with artists i didn't want them to have a desk okay why, why was that? Because it was like, you don't do this type of work at a desk. Right. So you don't get a desk. If you want a desk, there's a couple of flex uh, desk spaces that you can use. So this whole floor did not have a single desk. Okay. Including my office. I did not have a desk in my office. But the thing is that that was a conceptual idea that I still think is very strong. But in the day-to-day -day work, we kind of got frustrated about it. Right. Even myself, <laughs> not having a desk. I mean... I want to I wanna have like, uh, I, I don't do my, my, the, the, the magic of my job behind the desk. Yet you need a desk for what the day What is the magic of your job? Well, it's, uh, it's making people get very excited about Sony Music. Be it artists, be it partners, be it uh, new employees. Mm -hmm. That's the magic of my job. Is, is so you get talk to people. And to people, people about Sony Music. So my job is about uh, talking to people. It's not about uh, writing emails. Right. Uh, so my, 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 my job day to day is having conversations all the time and I tend to think or I, I thought that, my, that that's most of the times more, a more nice way to do that is not at a desk but just in a, in a more cozy setting. Mm -hmm. But the thing is if you have like a, 
I also have business updates with my finance director, my commercial director. It doesn't work if you're lying uh, in a couch like so that that whole idea of Silicon Valley where people are just like youngsters uh, uh, making millions just hanging in the couch and uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't really work. I love I love the idea. It doesn't really work. So what I do now is now I have more like a formal office. Mm -hmm. That's I, where we are. Right this, right so now. this is my office, which is very formal. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the at the back, there's more the setup that I used to have. Mm -hmm. So I kind of my assistant in, when she plans the meetings it's mm -hmm. like is a more of a formal business meeting than it's this setting so we formal business meeting now at the point <laughs> at the, so we'll leave any any minute now uh, and if it's more uh, creative right. we'll be in that in that other room yeah uh, and that's basically now how everybody works here so everybody has a desk yeah. so I changed that how many people are working here 35 people yeah yeah so everybody has a desk. That that didn't used to be the case. So everybody has a desk. So at least people have a space where they can have, which is theirs, yeah. and they can work. So I know I know there's a lot of, uh, I mean, especially in creative environments. I want I wanted it differently, but it didn't work. So that's why we changed. So people have a desk, mm -hmm. yet people are very much encouraged to to roam around the office mm -hmm. and to meet other people. So mm -hmm. we created spaces where it's very easy to meet up, have a coffee, um, sit one-on-one -on -one or just uh, with four people or whatever. Yeah. So we don't have too many, we have, we have a formal meeting room, but we have also a lot of spaces where you can, yeah, yeah. if you, if you saw that at the bar. Yeah, it's, upstairs it's, you get in and there's a bar and I yeah. think we spent like five or 10 minutes, but there were so many people passing by yeah. in a very, um, not in a stress, but more yeah. like. Um, so you can, sit, you can sit there at the counter, mm -hmm. uh, have a coffee or at one of the nice uh, coffee tables, mm -hmm. which are deliberately very small. Mm -hmm. So they're not made to put on your laptop and, and work. Okay. So they're deliberately small to have a coffee. Okay. Um, which because Smart because thinking. yeah you know but that's the, the thing is and and that that's that that was the whole reasoning and it's not me it's the people that that we work with that actually <laughs> make me smarter on that on that on that field. Um, the thing is, if you design something for people to put a laptop then people will actually do it. So you have to force them. You cannot, you cannot do it's that. It's like, you know, same with temperature yeah. and um, not to name any, any fast food restaurants, but you know that you keep the kind of temperature low so people walk in and out very quickly, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, so it's the same. That's so you kind of, kind of, you don't want to uh, uh, trigger a certain uh, um, um, reaction, so to say, with people. Yeah. Um, so we have now this kind of stand as well in the in the bar area, mm -hmm. uh, which is basically you, you can very casually sit there and, and just talk about stuff or, yeah. or something you want to cross with someone. Uh, that's very easy. We have a more cozy um, uh, meeting room downstairs, the one that I use a lot for my meetings. Upstairs we have the same. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's really working. But again, it's very much work in progress, and which is what I really really like. So we have. Um, uh, an amazing guy who basically checks everything that we want to change mm -hmm. to keep the concept uh, intact. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it still needs to be aligned, mm -hmm. but we're really molding and molding until this becomes the Sony Music Netherlands office. And we're almost there, but it's taken two years to get there. Yeah. But I'm very enthusiastic about where we are right now mm -hmm. because it's really working. Also, it, it's making it more our office. So when we got in here, people felt uh, alienated is, is, is too harsh of a word, but it almost felt like that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's such a strong concept. Mm -hmm. So the concept of the of the office is we have green area mm -hmm. and the gray area. Yeah. The green area is a creative space. That's mm -hmm. where uh, creativity is stimulated, so to say. Why green? It has a, a couple of reasons. Uh, green, because the original concept was not with the colors. Mm -hmm. It was more black and wood, mm -hmm. so warm colors. Mm -hmm. uh, and we made a more radical um, decision about gray and green. Mm -hmm. Gray is easier to understand. It's like, it's very much concentration uh, focus area. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is, so everything, especially now with the weather is gray and also all the, all the pillars of the, of, the, of the building. Mm -hmm. um, so if you make everything gray, mm -hmm. it basically everything levels out. So the only thing that is there is the view. And that's the idea. So you basically, everything kind of levels, levels out. So you're just 
you have the view and that's basically it so that's the focus of that of that area mm -hmm. so it creates a certain calmness and you will notice also if you walk around there it creates also some kind of silence although we're a record company yeah. people tend to become very silent nice. um, which is good if you want to do like work that needs concentration right. so most people have their desks there so we obviously we have a lot of people that, that work more we don't only only have like uh, the rock and roll people that uh, <laughs> that are uh, creative imagine, all the time. Right? Yeah, we have a, a, a big uh, finance team, we have yeah. a legal team and stuff. So those are people that actually need a good working environment yeah. to, do, to do the work that they do. So they're all in the gray area. Mm -hmm. But everybody's very much encouraged to, again, roam around and wander around and come into the green area to have conversations and, and mm -hmm. have a coffee or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the green area, a green uh, stimulates creativity. Mm -hmm. But also, this is basically the green room of, uh, of, uh, of uh, so in, in, in music uh, or entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. You have a green room where artists are, and that, okay. that's kind of also an, an, an extra layer to that. Um, so th these are the, the green area is where, where people are encouraged to, to, uh, to be creative mm -hmm. and not triggered into the automatic s mode of what an office very often triggers you into. Mm -hmm. Very often when you're in an office, you sit at the table, you, you put on your laptop and you get into a certain mode. What so, are your tools? I don't see a laptop. But well, you, I have a laptop. Do you work on the phone? Uh, are you mobile I, only? I, or? No, 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 no. I do have a laptop. I, I work mostly on my, on my iPad, I have to say. Mm -hmm. um, but I deliberately do not have a fixed screen and everything mm -hmm. because I, I want to get as much out of the way as possible. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that is allowed on the desk is my uh, volume knob of the studio speakers. Okay, uh, that's, well, that's, 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 that's okay. That, that's allowed. <laughs> For music company. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, um, you, you, the, the basic concept is basically of, uh, you have an open and a closed mode mm -hmm. in which you work. And we were very much inspired by a, uh, a very old speech, I have to say, of John Cleese. Mm -hmm. of, I think it's even in the 90s. Okay. Where he talks about creativity in companies. Yeah. And he's talking about the open and the closed mode. Mm -hmm. You can very much translate and transpose that onto this office. So the, the closed mode mm -hmm. is the gray area. Mm -hmm. It's where you're rational. You make, and obviously we have to make a lot of rational decisions here. For that one side of your brain and the other yeah. one is for and your... And the open mode is the, the green area. So we try to s encourage that. Yeah. Uh, so in the green area, we try to encourage as much as possible the open mode, mm -hmm. where you're not too rational, but you're like free association. And mm -hmm. You can kind of trigger ideas and stuff like that. Do people um, switch? Do they switch from the gray to the green area yeah. and the other yeah. way around? Yeah, and I'm, I'm especially talking about people in the more creative spaces of our mm -hmm. business. So I'm talking about A&R managers, so mm -hmm. the people who work with artists and the uh, and, uh, uh, marketeers, mm -hmm. uh, which is over half of the company, obviously. Mm -hmm. So they switch between the two, the two areas. Mm -hmm. I have to say everyone that's really, the, the people that are in the creative uh, departments, mm -hmm. A&R, the creative department itself, um, they are downstairs, they are working permanently in the green, yeah. in the green area. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite spot in this building to work? My office. Your office? Yeah. Because you can close the door? Uh, also, I have to admit, don't. That, that's off the record. No, it's not true. <laughs> no, because you must have uh, noticed as well that we don't. We have two offices, mm -hmm. my office, mm -hmm. and the finance director mm -hmm. also has an office for obvious reasons. Uh, and I have an office because I have sometimes have conversation yeah. that I need to do in private. Yeah. Uh, the only other door that you can close is the one of the studio <laughs> that yeah. we have. Uh, and uh, anything else is open space. But it's still, I mean, there's transparent, there's glass door, like yeah. glass walls here, so it's still giving you the transparent feeling, right? Yeah, because otherwise you kind of ruin the whole concept of the office. So everything is very much in, in some kind of grid. Mm -hmm. So everything, there's a rhythm in this office mm -hmm. everywhere. And I have to say, it's not the best day today to film the gray space because we're moving things around and we actually finalized the plans for that yesterday okay uh because but we love that so. yeah because we don't have the rhythm there now so everything okay. has a certain rhythm mm -hmm. and the rhythm is basically dictated by the the pillars that come back in the tower oh, okay that. so i think the genius thing of this office the, the the why i fell in love with the concept is actually the ceiling yeah the ceiling is gives an amazing vibe to this space uh, and you can actually tell if you if you would see other offices in this building or if you had seen um, the office before we had the ceiling. Um, 
it's a totally different vibe so because you can actually see it if you look through it's like a an industrial vibe yeah so that but, was there before it was built that way and you did the um did you do the um square so, things on it or is that also was that also done by it's not the raw it wasn't before like concrete yeah no everything was concrete yeah, yeah okay so the designers came in and decided to make this ceiling which is what, what is it? It looks, it, I mean, I'm from the sea too, you know, so mm -hmm. to me it looks like salt, kind of nature, stone. Uh, the, the thing on the, on the yeah. well, basically it's, it's some kind of acoustic yeah. appliance, okay. yeah. But the thing is, so, but, but that, was, that was there and that's in most of the offices. Or is it, or is it more, um, is it actually, is it more stone or is it fabric? Now I'm confused, like what is no, it? No, no, I don't know. It's like, a, it's some kind of uh, synthetic. Yeah, okay, it is synthetic. Thing. It's not. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's it synthetic. Looks like concrete but that almost. but that was that was there, I have to say. So yeah. that was yeah, there yeah, and yeah. that's in most on most of the floors. Yeah. So when the designers came in, they decided to add an extra layer and make this kind of ceiling. Yeah. Which draws you outside. So your view is always drawn yeah. outside. So basically in terms of overall concept, this office, the biggest the biggest um, treasure of the of of the office is the view. Yeah. So wherever you are the view is always the main component of the feeling that you get and when when you ask me like what's your most favorite spot in the office when i say uh, this corner where this, you can this, overview like everything. yeah but the thing is not because of it because i can close the door mm -hmm. the, the the reason is we're i'm inside this building the whole day most of the time but you live with the weather so when it's raining, it's, it's, like yeah, you, it's raining, it's raining yeah. when it's nice weather, it's nice when it's sometimes you can't see the, across the water. It's so misty mm -hmm. or sometimes when on the beautiful, so you kind of live with the seasons and with the weather. So you kind of feel connected with the world mm -hmm. here. So you feel like you're very much in Amsterdam, mm. um, which, which I think is an amazing feeling, especially with the kind of work that we do, mm -hmm. because we work very much for what's with, with what's happening out there. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. So you don't want to be in, a, in, in some kind of uh, closed environment. You yeah. want to be, we, we literally have the view on, on, on the market, mm -hmm. on, on the what's people that we work outside. for. Yeah, what's, what's happening, yeah, absolutely. Nice. Yeah. So that's what I think is a very is a very strong strong concept. But again, the, the, the what the ceiling does to this office cannot be underestimated. Mm -hmm. It's very it's 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 obviously tailor made. It's, hard it's to, not to it, it's it's never it. made before, and we had a lot of issues making it because obviously you don't want it to resonate too much when you start to play music, mm -hmm. and you, when you play very loud, it starts to resonate. Okay, but very loud and. You should never play music too loud. Yeah. I mean, How often does that happen does it, that you play, I mean, music like through the entire office? Well, we play music all the time, obviously, but I, I listen to music on, so I have studio speakers which are way too big for my office, yeah, so yeah. I, I don't have to blast them. That, yeah, okay. It doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only space where we don't have the ceiling is in the, in the, in the studio. So yeah. the studio is, uh, is across. So basically we kind of cut that off. Mm -hmm. Because that that's not part of the the complete design. Mm -hmm. It's only possible because yeah, it's yeah, it's a straight line, you know. So that's out there. I have to say, yeah, sure. Yeah. I had I had a fight with the designers because they wanted to make it a glass studio as well. Okay. Because otherwise it wouldn't fit the whole concept. But a glass studio is just not possible. Yeah. You cannot do that. Why? Because you want to have your own. You need to be in your own like the. Well, that, but also in terms of acoustics and stuff. Yeah, you can't okay. build yeah. A, a, it doesn't a, a, work. No, it no. doesn't really work. <laughs> it's just not possible. So that's the... So you won? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, di I didn't win a lot, of, a lot of the fights, I have to say. And, and they were very, very rigid in terms of trying to, 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 to put the concept there. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud of it because it is, it is hard. It, it took a lot of effort from me, but especially from the people that work here, mm -hmm. to get used to a, a new way of working. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it looks very logical now, mm -hmm. but that's the power of the concept, that it looks very logical, it's not logical at all if you, if you come into the... you also said it took time, right? Yeah, totally. It, it's taken now like two years and I, I guess we're really there now and people feel at home and it, it's, mm -hmm. it, they, 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 they have been able to make it theirs, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, not, it's not as easy as it looks, I guess. But that's probably what people most of the time expect today, it's really plug and play. Yep. so to speak so you have a problem you have a solution and you want it to work out um, 
you have an old IT system, you want G Suite or Office 365, you implement it and you want the people to work on it right away, but it doesn't work because yep. people have just not never worked in a shared doc, for example, before or shared yep. a calendar or whatever. So yep. how would they know what it feels like to all of a sudden see all yep. the details or yep. see the other people comment in a doc? Absolutely. Yeah. I think that the most important thing that we learned is that uh, we have very strong theoretical concepts mm -hmm. and you try to apply them. Mm -hmm. And the strength is to adapt them and have people actually give them the freedom to mold it into something that works for them. Uh, so I was very rigid about creative people don't have a desk. Mm -hmm. And basically you feel that people feel a bit, uh, don't really feel comfortable not having a space where they at least have, that this is mine. So we just changed it. It's so as how easy. do you deal with hierarchies, for example, <coughs> here? When you say everyone is allowed to, like, sort of, you know, um, everyone is heard? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, but we're kind of a flat organization. Yeah. Um, because we're very, we work in a very creative industry. Mm -hmm. So hier hierarchy doesn't really work for us that well. So obviously we have, like, a basic hierarchy in terms of how you run a company. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not very... Uh, uh, it's not with a, with a lot of authority or with a lot of, it's just like, there's, there's a couple of departments and those are headed by people and that, that's as much as hierarchy goes for us. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. And the people that run departments are actually also sitting in the open space, mm -hmm. which works. Can we take a look at the open space? And totally, the yeah, other, sure. The yeah. other workspaces. And you kick us out <coughs> if you feel like you need a break or you need to Yeah, go. sure. Yeah. Um, Relax. We have uh, we have uh, thirty minutes. So yeah, perfect. Fine. Fine. So, what do you want to see first? Everything. Oh. Everything. <laughs> okay. Cool. What is your like? Where would you start? Well, maybe we is go to the, the studio. The if, studio? It's, uh, if it's uh, available. Oh, hey. hello. Hey. Hello. We're going to even uh, we call the work is further. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, So this is the studio, which is the the only closed the only closed uh, uh, space mm -hmm. in the office. Mm -hmm. uh, this is used to uh, this, this is basically as a, the two uses that we that we that are uh, primary, I would say, is. Uh, to, for, for listening to music. Mm -hmm. So if we get in new music that we have to judge or anything, you have to be very focused. So we have an amazing sound system. You're super focused. You don't get disturbed. Uh, that's where our a r managers kind of yeah, do screenings of videos, uh, listening sessions of audio. Uh, and also we have artists work here. Mm -hmm. So artists come in, they love. This is the studio with the best view in the whole of Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Acoustically, it's not the best idea to have windows in the studio, mm -hmm. but this is more of a creative writing space. It's not a recording space, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's a writing space. Mm -hmm. So a lot of artists come in here, work together. They have the A&R managers close by so they can hop in. So it, it's amazing also to have artists in-house. Mm -hmm. So we want this, uh, this office was really meant to become a home of our artists. So we, we love, and it's actually already happening now, if artists are, are by, they are in the neighborhood, they pop in they're for a coffee, they can, they can check out some stuff with an A&R manager. So it's very, uh, very easy to just pop by. Mm -hmm. So Sony Music really wants to be a home for their artists. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you don't have to make a formal appointment and like, uh, can I have a meeting with someone at Sony? Our artists know they can, they can pop by every, any minute. Mm -hmm. And there's a space for them that they can use and they can have a coffee at the bar or they can so that's really that's really the idea nice yeah and people and MPs like when can i move in <laughs> with big screens yeah. for the camera yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah i know so what, what we're now at, at, we're adapting all the time so mm -hmm. what this is also going to become it's now like very much focused on video audio mm -hmm. it's gonna be more of a visual studio as well mm -hmm. so we're gonna make a green screen that can come out of the ceiling mm -hmm. so we can actually make creative content as well Okay. Because this space is big enough to kind of make, like, even do video shoots, to, no, uh, uh, photo shoots, yeah. and maybe to some extent video shoots as well. So we're going to make something more audiovisual here, in here as well. Nice. So this really becomes like, this becomes like the creative 
epicenter of, of, uh, yeah, of, yeah. of, of the creative work that we do. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that's the, that's the studio. Sorry, we interrupted your. No, uh, no, no, no worries. No worries. <coughs> so all the people that work here mm -hmm. uh, are in the creative space, so it's a and managers mm -hmm. and creative managers. Mm -hmm. So uh, close to the studio, close to me, because mm -hmm. that's the core of, of, of what we do at this company. Mm -hmm. um, so that's very, very important uh, for me. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the boardroom. So this is the Sony Music boardroom. Obviously, a company like Sony Music needs to have like a big boardroom, uh, which is used for bigger, bigger meetings, uh, management team meetings, uh, also artist signings. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we really wanted to, in line with the concept, but we wanted to make something that is unique in a way. Yeah, it so is. So we made a, a, a table that is completely made out of vinyl. Okay. So the, 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 the material is vinyl. Uh, including the scratches that people make, so it's kind of <laughs> no, but it's kind of it's 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 becoming more and more unique as is we as we use it. Like, is that something no, no, you would do again or would yeah, you? absolutely. Yeah. Vinyls have scratches. Yeah, yeah. So this is the more we. I mean, it 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 looks. It still looks a bit too neat. So it, it's becoming better and better as we use it, because this this really is this is the if there's one material mm -hmm. that defines the music industry, mm -hmm. then it's probably vinyl. So it's really nice to actually have a vinyl vinyl table. Um, what we made here, and it's, this is still something uh, temporary, uh, so we actually made like the vinyl players within the, within the system. This was made to kind of protect it, but this is super ugly. <laughs> this, this, ne this needs to go. It needs to go? Uh, yeah, because, yeah, if you... Oh, this is like you can lift it. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. I mean, if this is gone, it looks amazing. Yeah, okay, it you looks... See? Wow. So then, then you see, then you have just a vinyl table with, with nice. the vinyl players. So that's really cool. So when we have an artist signing, there's a vinyl playing. Um, and what we also have, which is not, not yet completed, but which is absolutely the, the idea, is that we actually have like, a, we want to have a system here. So if you have an artist signing, mm -hmm. the champagne bottles can come out, <laughs> of the, out of the table. Is there actually champagne in there? Not yet. Not yeah. yet. <laughs> no that's, signing that's, this week. That's definitely the... Uh, the idea, nice. and obviously, yeah, you see, it's a typical boarding room boardroom. I want to like have that for home, by the way. Yeah, it's cool. Huh? It's cool. I mean, the champagne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just popping uh, up. So, yeah. Yeah. and we, we do a lot of things. We we've had like live uh, chat sessions, for example, with Little Mix, with mm -hmm. with uh, with uh, twenty core fans of Little Mix in the Netherlands that have like a live uh, chat session with. Uh, what with do you them. use for technology for this? Do you know, by chance? Uh, the video conferencing. Yeah. It's a Sony thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. it works like a charm. But, um, nice. It's a Sony internal thing as used yeah. throughout Sony. Yeah. So, yeah. What I love the most is you, you, when you walk towards the room, um, you see the left room, which is like really nature, cozy, mm -hmm. living roomish yeah. like. Yeah. And then you turn to the right and it's, it still gives you the feeling, but at the same time it's very uh, formal. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, like official. Yeah. yeah, but this is obviously, and again, I think uh, a company like Sony Music needs needs this type of room as well. Mm -hmm. It is, it is. This is the most formal room in the building. Mm -hmm. Yet it feels very. I, I know because artists are very sensitive most of the time. Mm -hmm. Artists don't like formal stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, artists really like the boardroom. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so in 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 that sense, it's really it has really worked uh, because it has the same kind of vibe and feeling, and the green really. Is a difference. Mm. You don't really see that anywhere, like where everything is green. And I mean, we've gone very far. Obviously, the vinyl was was a step too far, but all the furniture is green. Which, if you walk around, it feels very logical. Mm -hmm. But you cannot find these furniture in green <laughs> because we we this is all custom made. Yeah. All the furniture has wow. been custom made because every everything is green. Uh, the only thing that we did change for for a couple of things for the desks and for for this as well so black black is allowed because yeah. it kind of molds in really well yeah but you know when, it, really when well this gets used it also you know gives a bit of there's a little bit of grayish uh, yeah, yeah, sure. to it so it merges so, in right but yeah. almost almost everything that we have is in it's in green which is uh 
which kind of yeah it kind of almost resonates mm -hmm. at some level with people so they get at ease and there's a lot of scientific studies as well about green making you calm and yeah i think uh, i mean in fact i was talking to milu because i went through i think i, I think i found the office through not because christoph met your colleague in mm -hmm. berlin but because i was looking for nice amsterdam offices on instagram uh -huh. and yeah, i yeah, saw yeah. the pictures and i'm like almost like i don't care who it is i want to see yeah, the space yeah, yeah. because yeah. it gives you the feeling of this is something this is different and this is something that we almost to me it feels like it's something that we lost mm -hmm. like the connection to nature and mm -hmm. the feeling yeah like yeah. i don't know how to explain but this that's, but the, that's the thing so we had when 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 we brought in also the uh, all the plants people are like those are a lot of plants and now we feel like we don't yeah um, who's taking care of them is the well we have we have a company that's taking care of them uh, and because you really need to do that so they come in twice a week yeah because we have a lot of plants yeah but again how many are there I have no idea <laughs> I really have no idea I'm meeting with Judith on Friday yeah. so okay. maybe she knows yeah maybe she knows yeah. but because the thing is we uh, it, what you say is very important it's like the connection to nature or what i said like you resonate on, like, on another level it's like that's a really what's happening to intuition a little yeah. bit like there's yeah. something that we lost yeah. yeah but everybody has the same i think it's also almost like an instinctive reaction like mm -hmm. people feel this is nice yes I it's a very nice environment to be in also because i mean when i think of sony i immediately think of technology of you know like very hard cold modern like those are mm -hmm. keywords that come to my mind and then it's almost the opposite, the feeling that the feeling I get here, but mm -hmm. still, it's it's like yeah, that's what what music is like probably. Yeah, like yeah. It comes from here, not from. That's it, but yeah, we're yeah. Sony Music, eh? so yeah. we're the we're the softer side of the of the big corporation, uh, which I think yeah, again, this is very much thought from the artist's perspective. Yeah. Where do they feel at ease, yeah. and that's also the reason. Eh? And I, I have to say, the boardroom is. <laughs> is really really good in terms of people feel at ease but in our previous office mm -hmm. if an artist would come in with new music mm -hmm. we would play it in the boardroom so mm -hmm. what would we do we would sit with a lot of people from the label the artist playing music from his laptop in a very formal setting that is very scary for an artist that's a very bad experience for an artist because he doesn't i mean we're not artists, but if, if you make something that's very, very personal and you want to show it for the first time to someone else, yeah, you're probably very that, that's already a scary experience on itself. Yeah. So what will we do as a label? Uh, put them in a room where they don't feel at ease. Yeah. With a lot of people, it's very intimidating. The room is intimidating. So basically the whole experience is awful. Yeah. So that's why we said we need... A, so when we now play new music, we're in the studio, which is the artist's environment, mm -hmm. where he or she feels at ease, mm -hmm. uh, which is very different already. Mm -hmm. So everything that has been thought out in this, in this office is very much from the artist's perspective, like what do they like? Mm -hmm. How would they feel at home? Mm -hmm. Again, this is a home for our artists, mm -hmm. obviously also for our people that work here, but that's very much the connection that we try to find. And, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a heavy world out there and it's like super... It's different uh, here. And, and this is different. It's, yeah. it's almost like an oasis. Yeah, yeah it like, is. Yeah. So that's, that's the whole idea. Yeah. Nice. <coughs> I think I'm, I'm changing to music industry now. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> not the whole in music industry is like this. No. Okay. Well. I thought this morning I have to move back to Amsterdam. It feels like, yeah, it, it's funny. Where, do you, where are you based now? Uh, we're based now in Hamburg. Uh -huh. Hamburg. Okay. Hamburg. Um, uh, yeah, but it's, I mean, five years was a long time here. Uh, you have lived here in Amsterdam? Yeah, I have lived here. I think I left 2000, yeah, almost 10 years ago, 2009. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I still have a lot of friends and I come like every. Yep. Every now and then. Cool. So that would be the grey area. Yeah. So I really like the fact that you hear you can actually dive into the yeah. creative space of the company, which is uh, a nice thing. Yeah. So these are like lookout chairs. They're mm -hmm. very comfortable design, relaxed chairs that people actually use when they want to think about stuff or mm -hmm. do some more creative work and it's amazing if you sit in there and you just have to look outside with <laughs> covered by the plants you kind of you're really like in your own 
space, your own zone. Yeah. So we did create a lot of spaces where people, I mean, obviously when you have to do accountancy work or whatever, you want to just be on your gray desk and, and be focused. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people here have to think about a plan for an artist mm -hmm. or uh, come up with some creative ideas for an artist. Mm -hmm. um, these spots, for example, are designed for that. Mm -hmm. To kind of just be in your own bubble and... What is your experience with all the... Sorry, I'm just... Um, uh -huh. Like, with the plans, like, did it... Because it's a lot of plans, yeah. as you mentioned before. Is uh -huh. it was it like easy from the beginning on, or I mean, plans also you know they have the, they have their own life. They yeah. start to maybe whatever. No, 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 no. But we have <laughs> it's done by a very specialized company. Yeah. So they know with what type of plans need to be where, yeah. also where they are positioned. Yeah. In terms of light and anything yeah. and everything, but it's uh, it takes a lot of care. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it lo looks very logical or easy, but it's really not because. It's something that has to be taken care of all the time, yeah. Mm. But which makes it very unique because that's the reason why a lot of offices have the typical type of plants. So th these are not the, your typical type of plants. And again, it, it needs it needs uh, a lot of, a lot of care. Mm. Yeah. So green or gray? Well, let's do the green area and then then we'll we'll dive into the gray one. <laughs> so this is the bar area where yeah, basically we have. Uh, mm -hmm. We have uh, our daily lunch and where we uh, sometimes when we have to celebrate something, we even have uh, beer from the tap. So it's this is really like, th this has to feel like a very uh, nice uh, uh, coffee bar. Yeah. That was the whole idea. Yeah. Um, so you can sit at the counter or these counters looking outside or we have the coffee tables that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. And then like yeah, the little stand that we actually just built. Uh, that is used. So this also is like an this is an artist area again. Mm -hmm. So when an artist walks in, so what we what we wanted to do actually, or the challenge that we had when the office was designed, mm -hmm. when you walked into the in the office space, you couldn't tell it was a record label. Mm -hmm. You couldn't see where the linked music was. Mm -hmm. And what we did not want to do was uh, put a, put up uh, awards or plaques area. or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it feels very very. Yeah. So you have something that so identifies with the. Yeah, so we have a very nice. Uh, uh, How do you call it? Like podium. Uh, Rhodes, uh, Rhodes piano, guitar. It's yeah. it's a little podium. So actually, yeah. when an artist ca uh, comes in, we had this two weeks ago. Yeah. We start he to play straight away. Like, so <sighs> I'm at home. So he yeah. comes in, he starts to play piano. So yeah. a couple of people come by and sit there, and so in a very natural, organic way, there was like a almost like a little mini concert. Mm -hmm for a couple of people. That, that's, so I love the fact that this can actually happen yeah. in this office, yeah. like spontaneously, not planned, not just yeah. like, and you know, when an artist walks in, he mm -hmm. or she feels that's where that's he belongs, yeah. or she belongs. Um, and also we, we do have like artists that play, so we have like, people can sit on the stand and, and stand or sit here. And we, we do have like mini concerts mm -hmm. and showcases and stuff like that. And also when we do a company meeting, we used to do that in the boardroom. Mm -hmm. We will start to do it here which is way more an informal, nice way of mm -hmm. being with each other. It's the same kind of thing that I, that I mentioned just in the boardroom with artists. So we have a, a monthly company meeting just to talk about what's going on in the company. Mm -hmm. I, I want everybody to be informed and to know what's happening. But when you do that in a formal setting, people start to act very formally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's not what I want. I want interaction. I want to talk to people. Yeah. If people have a question or a concern about something, I want them to to feel free to actually ask that question to me. Yeah. So if we do it in this kind of environment, it's way more informal and way more natural to do that. Do so you have many fixed meetings? Like you mentioned that monthly meeting and... Uh, my s me? Yeah, yeah, like in general, do people have a lot of meetings? Because I mean, we do, we do, we people try spend to have a lot of time in meetings <laughs> without, you know, having... We don't, we don't have a lot of meetings yeah. because we try to reduce that to a, to a minimum. Mm -hmm. Because again, when you're in fixed meetings, you, 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 you're working on automatic pilots, mm -hmm. you're losing a lot of time. So we have the minimum of fixed meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And we make them very short. Mm -hmm. Short is as in, short as in two minutes or short as no, in 20 minutes? No, or no, 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 no. <laughs> but not longer than one hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. And then behind that, there's one, oh, actually, you can probably just walk around once, right? Can you? You can, can, you you can walk around. From the gray yeah, area, the whole, yeah. yeah. So there's another so this meeting is, uh, behind yeah. the stage. Well, yeah. So that's uh, that's what I call the, the marketing living room. So the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the marketing team okay. uh, that works international repertoire is sitting in the gray area. Mm -hmm. 
but it's connected to this to this long table, mm -hmm. which has like this kind of family kind of idea of yeah what's happening right now. So mm -hmm. people <coughs> talking about uh, about projects or how they should go about. So we have like it feels like a living room mm -hmm. uh, behind that uh, that wall. I love it. I'm just like looking, you know, what can I, what can I bring home? Like, where can I put plants yeah. at home? <laughs> what kind of pottery can I yeah. bring? Yeah. Bring in. So what I just mentioned that we're actually now just and we're, we're gonna remove everything on Friday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this, this is gonna stay the same. But again, we, we need this rhythm yeah. pattern in the in the in in in, in the setup mm -hmm. because that cre also creates the the calmness and the rest that you want in the in the company. Yeah. So this is gonna be, this is a meeting room, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be it's gonna be designed to uh, trigger creative work more mm -hmm. because now it's there's, there's no design yet, mm -hmm. so it's still yeah. work in progress. This is like telephone. Yeah, cameras. yeah, because obviously when you have like everyone in open space, mm -hmm. you need space for people to be focused or do a telephone mm -hmm. call or that kind of thing. But you also built those yourself, right? Because mm -hmm. th you also built those yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of um, brands who have done, like, sort of ready-made, but yeah. no, no, th there's a lot us, of trouble yeah. with... Acu I mean, you most certainly don't have any trouble with the acoustics, but... We do. Yeah. You do? Yeah. yeah. What's the what's the challenge with this, then? Yeah, the even, though it's, even though it's treated, it's still... It's, it w whenever it's glass, it's not acoustic. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. basically the rule. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Would you do it again? Like build that yourself, or is that something? Uh, yeah, because it's it's so uh, so part of so the design. So unique. Yeah. 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 That's it. That there's there's no there's no elements built in this in the space. Mm -hmm. Everything is basically open. Mm -hmm. So once you start going away from that or moving away from that, you kind of lose the lose the, the concept, the concept yeah. of the design. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have someone who kind of really watches over that mm -hmm. to make sure that design. Mm -hmm. Is still intact as much as we can. Do they walk around and say, like, do they come in like on a regular basis and say, well, this has to move and this has to go? Or well, the thing is, I basically when I talk to people and I want to change something, I kind of mostly over the weekends I kind of draw something like I want it like <laughs> this, and I give it to them, yeah. and then we walk around. We actually did it yesterday. Yeah. Walk around and then they make a real design out of that. Yeah, okay. So I give them inputs about what's what people and want, what's, working. what's working, what's not working, mm -hmm. and they work with that. So what are the challenges? What's not working? Like what would you do? That this is one one space. So people people feel it's there's different departments here, but mm -hmm. it's just one open thing. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be more divided, mm -hmm. without making boxes. Mm -hmm. so How are you gonna divide it? It's it's gonna be. I can actually best show it by by the um, the design that we have there mm -hmm. at the at the stage. Mm -hmm. So that type of that's that, that's built for us. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make like almost like cabinets that yeah. you can but, but it's, it's still trees through and that's put it. plants in that's it. it. Yeah. And it's so it's yeah. different levels of height. Mm -hmm. It's transparent. Mm -hmm. So you don't get the feeling like these are all different boxes. Yeah. So you still have that. So you view. don't break the space, but you do put it exactly. in. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna divide it in in, in four departments. Mm -hmm. But you so you're gonna have here like some kind of uh, corridor. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you will not lose like the the general sense of the wideness of mm -hmm. the view and everything. So that's gonna be kept intact. Yeah. Nice. So this, unfortunately, now is a bad example because everything is gonna move. So all the all, all the desks are gonna be like that. So there's a, because now we don't have the pattern, and you see that it doesn't create uh, the rest that you, that want. you want. It needs to be very much in in sync. But yeah. what you do feel is that. The, the gray kind of <laughs> almost urges you to to start start talking silently. Yeah, it is. It really it, it's more um, yeah. not in a stressful way, yeah. but almost like calming, like yeah, yeah focus for you. Which is strange for record companies. Yeah, but uh, you know. But that's that's the interesting combination or marriage of vibes that we that we have here. Yeah, I love it. So you're definitely not going to move out the next year. So. No, no, not a chance. Not a chance. Do you play uh, any instrument? Yeah, yeah. I play the guitar, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I used to play the piano, but that was when I was a kid. So. Mm -hmm. uh. yeah.
this is uh, Barry, that's the finance director. So that's the only other office in the, yeah. in the space. Yeah, hi Barry. <laughs> So this Small is the, idea. yeah, this, this is more of a, this is actually, a, it's already, that's the funny thing is that the rooms kind of get names by our own people, mm -hmm. so I don't make them up. So this is called the people room. Okay. Uh, because our head of people uh, uses this most of the time to have conversations with our people. And obviously, um, it's still in the gray area, but this is a more of a cozy environment. Living room -ish. Living room yeah. kind of idea, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But this is this is also used for people, yeah. Again, uh, to to if, if they want to have like a breakout session mm -hmm. or they want to think about stuff. We yeah. just met with um, Claude Silver, who's the um, yeah head of people, head of mm -hmm. heart uh, at Vena Media mm -hmm. in New York, and she has the same. She has like a small, almost living room yeah. in the craziness of yeah. uh, that's, the that's, office. That so is this thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so you're very well, much so. so if, if you space. have a conversation, that's it yeah, exactly. Space. So if you're here. It's it's anything else. It, it's very different from anything else in mm -hmm. this in this office, which is exactly what it's meant for. Yeah. And this is our actually our only formal uh, meeting room, mm -hmm. which is called the pop corner, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, so yeah, that that's that's a straight up uh, meeting room. We will still have like a, a good sound system in here as well, mm -hmm. so you can listen to music. Uh, And what is really nice is obviously you don't really see it now, but if you're in these in these rooms, mm -hmm. you still have the view. Huh? Obviously, mm -hmm. you, you have like the, the corridor in between, but you still have the view, which really gives you an. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, uh, like in my office, you have like a connection to the outside world, which I really really yeah. like. Yeah. And that's actually a, a thing for wherever you are in the office. Obviously, because it's like you always see the water. That's yeah. it. That that's the main theme, I would say, or the main the main strength of, of the office. Or the treasure, as I call yeah. it. That's also that's Amsterdam, you know. And that's like Amsterdam, and that's where we are, yeah. and that's where we where we've moved to. So, yeah. we feel very, where very you connected. We were in Hilversum. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where yeah, but that's where the old the old world yeah. of the music industry is. Yeah. Um, uh, where all the media used to be. Yeah. And now we're way closer to where actually the artist and the fan community is. Mm -hmm. So we're way closer to where we want to what be. What made you move here? Only because like. That, that's the reason. That's the reason. We wanted to be closer to the artists. We wanted to be closer yeah. to but you could where it's really happening. Moved into um, into the city center somewhere. Totally. Yeah. Like what made you come to Holland North, like Amsterdam North, because uh, that's the where whole, people. The whole concept of the tower was. Mm -hmm. It's a very very strong concept. It's all music companies in the tower. Yeah. Uh, we actually had to pitch. Huh? It's not like you could just say like raise your hand and say like we want to be in the tower. Yeah which I really liked. We re us being Sony Music, we had to pitch to the four owners and creators of the concept of the tower. Mm -hmm. We had to pitch our story and mm -hmm. say like, what is our added value to the music tower in, mm -hmm. in Amsterdam? Mm -hmm. So we're also very proud that we are the only record company that mm -hmm. is part of this unique concept. Mm -hmm. um, so, and this has a lot of advantages, the, the, the whole vibe around the tower. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is where the musical heart of Amsterdam is ticking. That's mm -hmm. this place, and we're a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, it's very easily uh, uh, you can very easily reach it through the central station. Yeah, but nice. also, if you come by car, you don't yeah. have to go through the city. Yeah. You come from the north side, so it's the accessibility is also amazing. Yeah, uh, and the view is just on three hundred. Yeah, I mean we've we've days. been <laughs> we've been here two years, and I still yeah. every day I come in the office, I feel very. Uh, <laughs> Very grateful that, yeah. that we can work in, in, at this unique location. Yeah. And again, we're connected to the city that we really deliberately moved to, mm -hmm. which which is an added an added value as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. It's definitely unique. You don't find these kind of um, like, especially you wouldn't find this in the cent center of Amsterdam. No, like, no, no. And there, there's a lot of unique spots, but for us. Again, the concept of this tower being a music, um, all music mm. companies, mm. Um, location, it's a uh, once in a lifetime yeah. uh, And then the eye, was that there before? Or yeah. did it just, yeah, yeah, that was there before. Yeah. yeah. But also, if you see now what's happening here, so mm. this whole uh, district, so to say, 
is also like the, the up and coming district. Yeah, there's everything's because, happening like, when I was, more and more. When and more. I lived here, like Amsterdam Nord was like you. We went there sometimes for some concerts, yeah. you know, on some docks or something. But that yeah. was it. Like it was very rough, yeah. very very yeah. Uh, hardcore. Yeah. And now there's so many interesting things happening. Last year, the This Is Holland Museum opened. Mm -hmm. They're building more and more blocks. Uh, the Eye Museum, which is an amazing museum yeah. and an amazing design, the building on yeah. itself already. Yeah. So this really is this is becoming like the skyline well, of, of Amsterdam. Well, actually, see if we have well. still have an hour or something to uh, pop in. It's amazing. We heard it's amazing. The film museum but this also. is this is this is the new skyline of Amsterdam. Yeah. You have the south, obviously, which is not super sexy. It's just like tall buildings, mm. but this is iconic almost. Yeah. And again, we're, we feel like we're in the middle of it, we're part of it. So again, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for Sony Music to be part of this, of this, this whole story. Nice. Yeah. We can see the spark in your eyes. Ah, it's it's like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking so much you're, time. You're welcome. Making you're very so much welcome. Time. Thanks for um, um, paying attention. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll share yeah. it. It's uh, yeah. definitely, I mean, this is, um, yeah, just, I, you know, I come from a design background, but, um, I go a lot after intuition and just feels like so um, naturally. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks so Anything much. Anything we need and to. I invite to you. Yeah, yeah. Come back next year yeah. because it's gonna yeah. it's gonna look different. Yeah. But I said we're evolving all the time as the world is and as uh, music is and everything. So uh, we are in motion constantly and and the, the office will show. We will. So. Um, Thank you so much. You're welcome.